Oh, all right. Today's video may be just a little bit different than what you guys are used to. Well, it's, it's going to be a lot different, okay? There's just going to be no fancy edits, no funny memes, and, I, and I'm sorry for that. But uh, today's video is just it's a little different, okay? So I hope you guys do enjoy it, though. But pretty much, I'm just going to be talking about Fortnite, data Fortnite that we're in. And I've seen a couple of the videos he's going around. Kiwi's made a video on it. Cypher is the first person to make a video on it. I'll leave the link to both those videos down below if you guys want to check them out. But I'm just going to be talking about the state of Fortnite, basically. Basically, me talking and venting how i feel about the game right now and giving my opinions on the issues with fortnite it's a good hope it's a good video i'd love to see comments from you guys down below you know let me know what you think about fortnite right now your opinions on it if you still even play the game or like the game but uh yeah i'd appreciate it if you guys drop a like in the video i know it's a little bit different video we'll be back to normal videos tomorrow don't worry this isn't becoming a thing i just i wanted to share i wanted to vent i wanted to talk to you guys about it and see what your guys opinion on it are but if you haven't yet drop a like on the video i'd appreciate it if you guys are new it's the first video you guys might be seeing for me maybe maybe subscribe go check out my other videos because these aren't my normal videos you guys all you guys have been around know that but yeah that's just pretty much that's gonna be we're gonna talk about fortnite today some of the issues with it if you guys haven't yet make sure you guys go follow me on twitch i stream every monday wednesday friday blah 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 you guys know the deal too use my supporter credit code i'd appreciate it but yeah that's that's about it i don't, I don't want to talk too much we're, we're just gonna get in this video and uh yeah let's get it oh all right guys so yeah you guys know the deal this, this video is going to be a little different it's basically it's going to be me talking to you guys and i honestly would love to see some feedback from you guys and you know in the comments so seriously let me know in the comments what you guys think about the video if you agree with me if there's some things you wish you could change in fortnite because i know there's plenty of things i would change if i could but obviously i don't have the influence for that or the authority so i'm still going to talk about it though like i said i've seen a couple of people making videos like this like kiwis and cypher pk they first two they're the first two people i've seen to make the video so i would We'll link those two videos down below if you guys want to check those out also and i just want to talk about it I, I really did because uh fortnite's at a weird state right now for me especially i uh you know i've went from playing the game every single day every single day for like two two to three years going on three years now and i'm at a point where i just i I genuinely don't play the game that much anymore. I don't. I get on, record what I need to record, get my videos done, stream if I'm going to stream the game, and I usually get off and go play other games like Tarkov or Valorant right now is very popular. I just, my interest for Fortnite right now is not like it used to be. And there's plenty of reasons for that. I've got lists, I've got a list of things here I'm going to talk about, you know, go over, but th there's many reasons for that. But honestly, like, you know, the question is, is why, why is Fortnite quote unquote dying? People say it's dying. One of the main problems is criticism from influencers and you know pro players and content creators like that and i know that's kind of crazy to say because i am a quote-unquote content creator and stuff we have influence people have influence over people's lives being in this you know this you know as a pro player or content creator especially if you're big so from all these pro players and content creators saying that fortnite is dying you know people are tweeting out all the time on twitter and everywhere saying that you know fortnite's dying it's a trash game this game's terrible people say that enough it's gonna come to fruition and people are gonna start believing it i mean that's that's a fact you know that's how it is people will start believing that the game is dying so they will think why should i play the game if it's a dying game therefore the game will die so that's one thing that it kind of comes back on our shoulders as players and creators and influencers that don't bash the game so much i know that's hard to say because trust me i get it the game is very easily to bash it's it uh at times it sucks because it can be so rage inducing and stuff but yeah it's uh the game just isn't casual anymore and that shows one of my biggest things is uh is communication i think from epic you know there, there's absolutely zero communication zero patch note they don't even promote in-game events anymore like at all like just the other day we had a chance to rapper in-game event and i literally didn't even know what happened until after it happened I, I wasn't home when the event happened i had zero idea that the event was even going to happen i got on twitter and saw the clip of the event i thought it was fake if that goes to show like how little they promoted that and how little they're like communicating with us about things like that i think it's kind of whack i mean maybe that's just my opinion but like in-game event t technically an ad probably from chance the rapper or whatever whatever it was there was zero promotion for it zero anything it just happened what happened to the fortnite where we would have in-game events all the time and crazy you know crazy ads like, like the star wars ad that thing was amazing it was so cool that's the last actual ad we've had for fortnite that genuinely like got promoted and was cool and what happened to that epic what happened to that fortnite that communicated with us all the time that gave us patch notes after every update and you know patch notes are huge i think 
patch notes to be mandatory because i mean as a pro player i'm not a pro player there's people that are pro players and play this game literally for a living this is their this is their livelihood don't you think it's a little important that you need to know what things are changed and what weapons may have got tuned or buffed you're a pro player don't you think that's important i mean maybe that's just me we'll get we'll get into that later that's a whole topic pro players and like comp scene I, I, we'll talk about that later in the video communication is huge and it's just something they they've had absolutely zero of lately second thing is well it's it's the elephant in the room it's uh it's the skill-based matchmaking let's be real here it's, uh it's fucking trash plain and simple it ruins casual game for people i get on fortnite and i literally never see a bad player genuinely every single game i get in is just sweaty as a creator it i mean so hard to deal with funny moments just don't happen in fortnite anymore at all like my videos are straight meme based and funny stuff you guys know that and it's so hard to do sometimes because of skill based matchmaking because it just puts me up against crazy good players all the time and all of my videos are supposed to be funny but i make them funny with edit and sound clips and, and memes that i put in the video there's no genuine like raw gameplay it's just funny because there, there is none it's not it doesn't happen anymore because i get placed against the boogas and tifus or the kids that think they're the boogas and tifus and just want to crank to the sky and edit and take walls and like because the casual style of fortnite is is gone and if you sit here and say that fortnite is still casual you're you're wrong I, I'm, I'm gonna be blunt with you you're wrong there's nothing casual about this game yeah you might look at the game and see the game oh it's cartoony it's childish it looks like kids like a kid's game there's nothing about this game that's casual and kid friendly it's just it's a sweat fest that's exactly what it is i can't even play with my friends anymore casually like, i used to play with my real life friends all the time and just chill have a good time laugh and talk and play fortnite i can't do that anymore because my friends know that they're going to be going against like the sweatiest of players and i mean to be honest with you the, the players are just better than them and there's nothing wrong with that they, they they play console like they're on they're on xbox and ps4 they play the game to have fun they don't this, this isn't their quote unquote job like this might be for me like they don't play this game every single day like i do so it's okay they're not the best at the game quote unquote so when they play with me they know that they're just gonna get smacked because go based match make so fortnite is literally taking that away from me being able to just play casually and talk and have fun with my friends because i mean they don't want to play with me because they know they're gonna be in one pc lobbies with all these sweat and skill based matchmaking just ruins that like they've literally taken that away from me you know like i get the whole thing of like skill based matchmaking like i get why they have it in the game it's for new players 100 percent for new players not for the not for the players that play the game all the time it's for new players that you know are not good at the game because when you first start the game you're not going to be good all the building mechanics and editing it's just it's too much to be great at right away but for all the new players they get in lobbies and they have these ai bots and you know they don't have to build they don't have to they just shoot literally that's it supposedly there's still ai bots in fortnite i could i don't i don't know of a time the last time i've seen an ai bot in fortnite i seriously don't if that tells you the kind of lobbies i have i don't think i've seen an ai bot in fortnite in one of my games it, <laughs> dude i don't know if i ever have it's kind of sad but like how do you fix that because obviously if you're a brand new player you get in the game and you don't want to go against the sweatiest players ever which is why they have skill-based matchmaking but to me you know that's what makes fortnite fun is like when i get in a game if it's like completely different skill level there may be a couple tifus a couple boogas you know but there's also going to be the kids that don't know how to build don't know how to edit like there's going to be a mixture that to me is fun not knowing what i'm going to go against every single game but me i get in a game and i know that every single player i see is going to be a good player because of my skill set i'm going to be matched with them so it kind of ruins it for me because like i i don't get to play fortnite and just chill and have fun i have to play fortnite and absolutely sweat if i want to even have a chance of getting a win i think the skill based matchmaking kind of ruins the game i think that i mean for me what's fun in fortnite is playing against a completely randomized group of people anybody that can be as good as booga or as bad as little timmy down the street that plays fortnite once a year like that's fun to me in my opinion i don't know i don't know what you guys think about it kiwis did make a good point now like how do you fix that how do you fix that new player base that's getting on the game so they don't go against like you know the sweatiest of players and make it where they don't know how to build don't know how to edit and they're just gonna die every time it's, it's a pretty simple fix he said and you know why not start him out with a tutorial and it doesn't have to be anything super hard when you first get on the game it takes you a tutorial where you learn how to build learn how to do the basics learn how to build a ramp learn how to edit a wall you know learn how to maybe even tunnel or turtle up a little bit you know learn how to build a one by one the simple stuff but when they get in a game yes they can fend for themselves like that would fix so much i feel like but will epic ever do that probably not Another thing is server performance as well as ping. Let's be real here, as well as ping. And ping hits home for me. I'm gonna be real with you. The servers right now are the worst they have ever been, ever. Which is confusing to me because we're three years or something like that going on three years into Fortnite. And the servers are the worst they have ever been. It's a billion dollar freaking company 
and they're still having server issues and just lag and struggle to support the player base how is that a thing competitive gameplay is just terrible i mean it's it, the lobbies it seems like hard to even edit or slow to build it just doesn't make any sense to me really and oh 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 the ping man let me just talk about the ping zero ping zero ping it's uh it's unfair that, that's just a fact it's unfair you should not have an advantage on me just because you live somewhere in the country and you're closer to a server than i am that should not be a thing i average like 50 to 60 ping probably which is which is, which is terrible it's 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 absolutely terrible if somebody has zero ping and they're box fighting me they're gonna take my wall nine out of ten times maybe ten out of ten times and that's just a fact the coin flip it, it's it's a joke it doesn't work i'm gonna be real with you i thought i thought they even took coin flip out of the game but apparently it's still in the game but it, it's a joke it doesn't work if you have if you have zero ping or you know sub sub 10 ping you're gonna you're gonna take walls every time you're gonna be you're gonna be shooting through walls you're gonna be able to shoot players through walls because turbo building is not gonna be, be working as good if you have higher ping it's just the game is ping based and how is that fair it just is it doesn't make sense to me but i i don't know ping, they need to find some kind of way to make it where it's fair for players that have decent ping and zero if you have zero ping you shouldn't have advantage now i get i get if somebody has zero ping and somebody has like a hundred ping yeah that's a little bit of a difference that's a big difference no there, there's gonna be some lag there there's gonna be some input delay there i get that but somebody that has like 30 ping 25 ping 40 ping compared to someone that has zero it's still a huge difference like it, it's a pretty detrimental big difference and that's that shouldn't be it shouldn't be like that it just shouldn't it's a competitive game so like how is that advantage fair just because they simply live closer to a server than i do that, that's just my opinion on it i don't know oh man and uh do we even want to talk about the dreaded aim assist debate i don't care if you use controller i don't but do i agree with the level of aim assist a controller player has on pc no not at all and that's 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 not throwing controller players down at all i know it's a big giant meme at this point like i genuinely do not care if you use controller because dude i grew up playing on controller my entire life yes i play mouse and keyboard on fortnite and i play mainly pc games now but i grew up playing controller my entire life so why would you want if you play controller why would you want to change over to something you're not going to be as good at right so like i get it play controller have fun it doesn't doesn't bother me what bothers me is the fact that someone on controller that's plays pc pc directly xbox and ps4 like it's not that it's not that big of a deal aim assist but when you're on pc and you're using a controller the level of aim assist you have is borderline aimbot if you don't agree with me i mean and you're a controller player it's a little bias i mean i'm gonna be real with you you're a little biased if you genuinely think that aim assist is not overpowered in Fortnite for controller players. That you're 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 biased. That's just a fact. That's just how it is. And that's not throwing you down though. I don't blame anybody for using controller, dude. Like the level of the level of skill controller players have now, like editing and building, they're all they're almost just as good as like PC players. Players on controller that are just as good as mouse and keyboard players. And that that takes skill. That's I mean credit. I'll give credit where credit is due. That takes skill. That's hard to do. I couldn't do it. I'll give you props for that. All you controller players, I'm giving you props. Okay. Okay. But the aim assist is it's uh it's a little it's a little over it's a little much i think it needs some adjustment i need it to be i think it needs to be turned down just a little bit but do i think you know all these people saying oh my god ban controller players all that no that, that's that's a joke that's a little much there's nothing wrong with playing a controller in fortnite i just think the aim assist is a little much Oh, and five is uh is is the competitive gameplay. I mean, honestly, like uh it's a joke right now, honestly. I mean, not too long ago, like I mean not too long ago they were talking about servers and fixing the servers. This kind of goes back to servers, but Fortnite or Epic tweeted out saying like we're not gonna have any events or any like basically tournaments until we fix the servers. Now, I'm like excited about this. It's like, oh, let's go, baby. They're gonna fix servers, make them good. Well, like the next week or week and a half, they tweeted they, they said we're having like daily cash cups and, and then FNCS was announced, like it, but they didn't tell us they fixed servers and the servers are worse they've ever been so it's like they literally went back on their word and completely lied to us which kind of goes back to communication too right i mean the prize pools are one thing also it's like the thing that bothers me about prize pools is like they're split up pc has a prize pool ps4 has a prize pool xbox has a prize pool mobile and all that if you play on mobile and you're playing competitive like i, I don't know what to tell you they have their own individual prize pools for each one which is kind of whack for me because like even like the world cup there was no individual prize pools for each console each platform like there was none of that that's that's dumb if if you're playing a competitive game it should all be an equal prize pool right like if let's be real here if you're taking fortnite seriously you, you want to be a professional fortnite player pro player you're not going to be playing on xbox you're not going to be playing on console you're not you're not going to be ps4 you're sure as hell not going to be on mobile okay that's just a fact no pro player in their right mind will be playing on those platforms if you're taking fortnite seriously and going to be wanting to be an actual professional player okay because you're going to be at such a disadvantage you're going to have way less hurts way less frames because you know a player on pc 
I have a 240 hertz monitor, you know, a great computer. I sit at 240 hertz. My game is going to be so much smoother. It's going to run better. It's going to play better. It's just going to be an overall better experience. It's going to be the best possible experience because I'm playing on PC. If you want to be a professional Fortnite player, you have to be on PC. You just should be. If you're not, you're doing, you're putting yourself at disadvantage and you're hurting yourself. And also in the competitive that Epic, you know, says they want to keep like the arena game modes and competitive, like the integrity of competitive, like good. My thing with that is like, they don't put helicopters and things like that in the game competitive because it's, you know, I mean, quote unquote, it could ruin gameplay. Helicopters won't ruin gameplay. It, it just won't. There's nothing wrong with hel helicopters being in competitive. Can't shoot people. It's it's mobility. The thing that does hurt is like mythic weapons. Let's be real here. There's mythic weapons. There's heavy snipers everywhere. I've never seen more heavy snipers and like overpowered weapons in Fortnite ever. It makes certain POIs essential to land there if you want those weapons because you you will have an advantage like the drum gun or the the whatever sky scar. Those things are so broken or the mythic or the mythic minigun. Those things are broke. How can you have that in competitive but you can't have a helicopter? Those things shouldn't be in competitive either if you're trying to keep the integrity of competitive sound. I don't know. Like it just doesn't make sense to me. But one of the last things is, uh, I mean, us influencers, we, we can help. I mean, we really can. We have the ability, you know, as influencers, we're influencers or exactly what that word says. We influence people. There's people that there's people that influence thousands, millions of people in this world because of what they are, content creators, they're streamers. You know, me, obviously I'm not that big, I, but I, I mean, even I have some influence on people, you know, like there's people that watch me every day and yes, I'm sure I could influence them, you know, like as a creator, we shouldn't be bashing the game all the time. We shouldn't be saying the game's terrible. Fortnite, the game is not terrible it's one of the best games on the planet it just might be at the worst state it's ever been and that's okay because it can be fixed but as creators we shouldn't be saying the game is terrible bashing it because like epic i mean you think epic wants to hear that all the time do you really think they care about what we think all the time if we're just bashing it if we're trying to give constructive criticism that's one thing but if you're just saying the game's terrible and the game is dying and it's not fun that nobody wants to play this game that it's just trash developers why would they listen to us if we're doing that 24 7. so as creators we should work on that too we should work on trying to give actual constructive criticism we shouldn't be sitting here bashing the game and saying the game's terrible and making the developers think that well why should we listen to them if they're not gonna even try to help us you know but that's 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 kind of basically it i've pretty much rambled on uh, i don't know i don't know how long this video is going to be this might be one of my longest videos ever <laughs> but i mean we talked about the main problems you know why fortnite's dying communication go base mass making server performance and ping issues competitive gameplay like aim assist influencer help like there's so many things that could help fortnite out that are wrong but who am i to say what's wrong with fortnite i don't know i'm not a developer I, these are just my opinions there's some other people's opinions you know kiwis cypher pk i think put it amazing like I said, I'll link those videos down below for you guys if you want to go check them out. Amazing videos. Very thorough. Very, very informative about things that actually genuinely could fix Fortnite. These are just my opinions, though. I don't know what you guys think. Like I said, I'd love to see comments down below. Sorry for the little bit weird, different video. I, I'm not meaning to rant here. This wasn't me ranting. This was just me. This was just me telling you guys what I think is wrong with Fortnite, telling my opinion on it. And uh, yeah, I, I hope you guys did enjoy the video, but uh, I'm going to end it off here. Like I said, I'll be back tomorrow with an actual, normal, mean, funny style video. If you even made it this far into the video, I appreciate you. Thank you so very much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments, like, what you think is wrong with Fortnite. Seriously, like, I would love to know. I would love to know what your guys' opinion on Fortnite are. Do you even think anything's wrong? I wanted to get this video out. I think it's a good video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys back tomorrow with a normal style video. Peace.